What's up everyone? I'm here with a sneak preview for the vintage fan community. It's August 2023. This is a factory pre-production sample of a brand new ceiling fan that will be debuting in early 2024. So what we have here is a brand new clear acrylic ceiling fan. Um, the reason this fan exists is because the Neon Fan Company needs clear fans to neonize. Um, the Neon Fan Company has always used Quorum Prism ceiling fans, but Quorum has discontinued the Prism. It is no longer available. And there is no other manufacturer on the market that is producing a clear housing, clear blade fan that we can put neon in. So we have had to source our own. So we have gone to a manufacturer and designed our very own, very unique ceiling fan here. Um, so this is brand new, but obviously made to look quite vintage. The, uh, the key feature that everyone is going to notice is of course these, these blade irons. They are, this is an original or a, a direct copy of an original 1980s Panasonic blade iron. And uh, we sent this overseas and had it computer modeled and copied. And uh, what you see here are brand new 2023 blade irons made off a model of uh, an early 1980s Panasonic blade iron. The new ones are scaled up. They're slightly larger, but they're larger in every dimension so that the geometry is the same and the shape is the same. Um, they're cast aluminum for lightweight. They have a lovely polished chrome finish. The motor housing has uh, a nice ribbed finish. There's a matching, almost like cane sort of, a ribbed pattern on the blades. It helps to spread light. And those pattern shows up on the ceiling there too. So this is a four blade only fan. As you can see, the blade irons, we designed them so that they come in and almost touch each other with uh, like no gap in between. It's a really nice aesthetic, that look for a four blade fan, okay? Uh, we got a blender fan type canopy. We've got a lower canopy. Um, that trim ring comes off and you can flush mount the fan without a canopy. It comes with a four inch down rod, a 12 inch down rod and the flush mount option. So we've got a uh, four speed motor here. I was showing you the aesthetic low before. Here it is on high. You will notice that this fan is reverse pitch, meaning that um, the blades go in the opposite direction than normal. So for downflow, the fan needs to go clockwise instead of counterclockwise. So it's the same as a, you know, antique fan, like an Emerson round nose, long nose, or even some of the vintage fans like the uh, Plantation Island fans. So yeah, it's quite an air mover. I don't know if you can hear the, the airflow. Um, it's the biggest air mover in this room by a wide margin. So the specs on this, it's a 50 five zero inch diameter fan. Everything about this fan is an homage to something vintage. So like the canopy is the same as the vintage blender fan and uh, more particularly Lasco canopies like you can see on the TOC. Um, the motor housing, the general shape and design is the same as the, uh, like the design house and the king of fans and neon illusions, the early neon fans in the early 90s. Um, the pull chains, it's a little hard to tell here, but they are uh, from, from where they come out of the motor to the very bottom, they are 40 centimeters long, which is the exact same length as an 1895 series. So we wanted this, the, that to honor the 1895 series. Um, it is a 50 five zero inch diameter fan in honor of Casablanca, not 52, but 50. Um, it has a 15 one five degree blade pitch. The motor is 188 by 20 millimeters. It's a big fat high powered motor. I think it uses 80 watts of power. Um, it goes 220 RPM on high, and it's rated for uh, just a cock hair under 8,000 CFM, um, which means it's higher than a Hunter original. So it has a four speed pull chain switch. I'm gonna show you low and high. Let's move on to the next pull chain. We have re reverse pull chain. So instead of having a slider switch, we have a pull chain for reverse. So this is actually upflow, like you would use in winter um, when it's going in the, this direction, even though this, this would be downflow for just about any other fan, it's upflow for this fan. 
Okay, um, the fan comes with a built-in LED light. It's a warm white 3000K that might not show in the camera that well, but in person it's warm white 3000K halogen incandescent. Um, it's not only dimmable, it has a dimming pull chain built in. So if you take the light pull chain and you just pull it like normal, it goes on and off like normal. But if you pull and hold, it dims. You can see it dim down, back up, and it just goes in an endless loop from low to high. Wherever you let go, it stays at. Turn it off, turn it back on, and it comes on to that same level, okay? Now that's if you use the pull chain. It has memory about the last light level if you use the pull chain. If you use a wall switch, it does not have memory. So the memory depends on there being incoming 120 volt power to the electronic module in there. If you cut the power using a wall switch, the, the dimmer loses its memory and it comes back on 100% brightness every time. Um, it's, now, because we're the Neon fan company, not the LED fan company, we will be offering this also with real Neon. So there will be two different price fans, a lower price model uh, available on Amazon and eBay. And it'll be exactly this where it has the built-in LED from the factory. Um, it's low power, it's warm white, it's the same brightness, brightness as a, approximately a 75 watt light bulb. Um, and it's, it's dimmable, with a built-in dimmer. How do you say no to that? Um, but we will, as an option, offer the traditional real glass neon like the Neon Fan Company has always offered um, as an optional upgrade. So this is a pre-production sample. Again, we don't expect to have actual fans in stock um, available for sale and shipment until early 2024. Um, but this is an opportunity for anybody in the vintage fan community to chime in. There's going to be some slight tweaks and changes made um, from what you see here versus what we're going to wind up selling as a final product. Um, but very little that you would see. Um, they're, they're mostly internal changes. So right, we're seeing our spin down here with a 15 degree blade pitch and a brand new motor that's still a little stiff. Actually, it started to go by itself in the other direction. Maybe that's why it spun down so fast, because we've got all these other fans in the room here that are on. It's affecting the airflow. All right. So we can see underneath. Canopy. Um, so one other note, this fan absolutely would not have been possible without Dan Spiffy Newman. Um, so I want to talk a little bit about Dan's involvement in this. Dan sent me a Panasonic blade iron that he had cast this one right here. So Dan had an original Panasonic blade iron from an actual Panasonic fan, and he had a, uh, it made a copy. This is the copy. It's an exact, direct, original copy, 10 degree pitch. You can see it stamped right there. Big, wide flange where it attaches on that very unique looking Panasonic motor. Um, without this, I would have had nothing to send overseas to get modeled and copied and turned into this. And I don't know anybody else who owns one of these. I don't own one of these. So without Dan, this fan would not have happened. We have made vintage Panasonic blade irons come back to life in 2023 with reverse pitch, 15 degrees, absolutely amazing, so much cool, so much weird, all going on at once. And it would not have happened without Dan. Um, also, Dan provided a lot of uh, opinions and feedback to me during the design process. I bounced a lot of ideas off of him. I, I fielded his input, and, and in turn, he fielded other collectors' input. Um, you know, for well, we should should we do this? You know, way A versus way B. What looks better? What works better? Um, so, 
at the end of the day, this is the Neon Fan Company's product, um, but it has happened with the advice and input and opinions of others, primarily Dan Newman, and again, without Dan, these blade arms don't exist, and to me, the blade arms are the coolest part of the fan. They're my favorite part of the fan. So go ahead and uh, leave your comments below on what you think of this fan. Um, this is a product of the Neon Fan Company and the name is the Delray, D-E-L-R-A-Y. So go ahead and comment below what you think of the Delray.